MTT12. This is all about rests and it's more revision. We've done rests before. So let's just go through it. Semi brief. The note looks like that. And the rest is a rectangle hanging from the line. Remember, semi brief is four beats. Semi brief rest is heavy. It's hanging down from the line. A minim is like that. And the rest is lighter than the semi brief rest. It's a rectangle sitting on the middle line. That's two beats. A crotchet is worth one beat. It look, the crotchet note looks like that, and the rest for silence is that. A quaver looks like this, and the note looks like, the rest, sorry, looks like this. We haven't seen this before, so this is a new one. A um, quaver rest. So I'll just draw that for you. It kind of looks like a seven, but you do a, a kind of splodge, and then you go around like that and come down. And that's worth half a beat, so that's half a beat of silence. And then a semi-quaver has this, like we learnt about last week, and it's got two beams. The semi-quaver rest is the same as the, se the quaver rest, only it's got two little bits there, okay? Two flags, we call those. Okay, and last thing here, a bar rest is used to fill an empty bar. So not only is this a four-beat rest, it can also be used for any... Um, bar, even in 2-4. So if you're in 2-4, you can just use one of these to fill the whole bar of, uh, with silence. Okay? Insert a rest at each of the places marked with a star. So either with a crotchet rest, a minim rest, or a semi re rest. So I'll do one for you. 4-4, four, four, that's four beats. So that's two plus one, that's three. So we need one extra beat to make four. So we're going to need a crotchet rest. So that's now one, two, three, four. So we need another two beats here. So we need one of these. A two beat rest is a minim rest. So we be careful how you draw it. It's on the middle line, sitting on the middle line, like that, okay? All right, and you can finish those off. This one, insert a rest at each of the places marked. Same one again, only it's different rests this time. Crotchet, a quaver, or a semi-quaver rest. Okay, same deal though. All right, and the last page, we're, this is about ties. Right, so new concept here. A tie joins notes of the same sound, okay? It joins them so that um, rather than playing two separate notes, you play this for two beats. You'd hold it for those two notes, okay? So rather than just playing da, da, crotchet, crotchet, you would hold it. So it's almost the same as writing a min in that, okay? So write down the number of crotchet beats. So first of all, forgetting the ties, we're just gonna write how many these are each worth. So we've got a minim, which is worth two, and then you can tell me, you can write down what those are. Question two, first, join notes of the same sound with a tie. So we'll do that first. They've done one here, so for B, looking for notes of the same sound, as in the same pitch. So these aren't the same pitch, that goes up one. These are the same, so we need to do a tie. So if the, stem, if the stems are coming down, like here, the stems are coming down, we wanna draw the tie above. If they're going up, we do it below. So these are coming down, so we'll draw a tie going to there. And then this is down one, down two, down one. So that's the only one there. Um, up one, down one, up one, down one, same. So these are the same, we'll do a tie there. Okay, you can do the rest of those. But next, write the number of crotchet beats made by the tie. So going back here, their tie is a crotchet to a minim. So that's one plus two is three beats. I'll do this one for you. We've done our tie across these two notes. So that's a minim plus a quaver. That's two and a half, so two and a half, okay? Right, next question, last question. Mark, true or false? So this, this tie, it ties a minim to a semi-quaver, that's two plus a quarter. So does that equal two and a quarter? Of course it does, so yes. All right, so I'll leave you to do the rest of those. Is it true or false? That's MTC 12 done.